Hi, everybody, and a happy new year. It's Joe Chaffee. We have uh, the overnight GFS run because after we toasted the, the new year with champagne, what better way uh, than to look at what the models are doing? And we are in full pattern change mode. And here we have the changes that begin actually within 24 hours in Canada. Uh, this is going to be a pretty strong cold shot of air that comes in Monday night into Tuesday and early Wednesday. I think there could be a burst of snow when this upper trough goes by, uh, but that'll be about it. Now, as we go into the uh, longer range through next week, there are actually three systems here that you can pick out. There's one off the East Coast. There's another one back in through Texas. And there's the third one that's back into California. So it's, this is all a product of that active subtropical jet. You have the entire Arctic warming like crazy, cold air getting displaced southward. And the first one system goes out. The second system uh, kind of weakens as it moves eastward because you've got this vortex that's trying to form, kind of dominates the flow, so it can't really lift up or strengthen. But the third one is what the models seem to be keying on as the powerhouse, and it eventually just lifts it up into the northeast right there, uh, right around this developing upper <clears throat> cyclone back through Minnesota, and then it lifts a low up uh, to the northeast along the coast. And as we continue, uh, this is just a cold, wintry look right through the middle of the month, if this is correct. Here comes another deep trough with cold air uh, into the Midwest. Now, how does this look? Uh, on the surface because that's the upper air jet stream pattern and I'll show you how this translates and by the way there's no guarantee of course that any of this is going to turn out the way it looks but um, this is apparently which way the models are going so uh, we'll see how it plays out ultimately but I'm going to take you to the surface map here and we will back it up to the very beginning and you can see it gets a little cold over this weekend, and then this is the shot of a very cold air that comes in for Monday and for Tuesday, and there it is right through there, okay? Very cold up through upstate New York and in New England with this, and we're, we're going to get quite cold here, teens, I think, uh, in many locations. Now, we'll pull that out. Here comes that first low that develops here, practically comes out of the tropics off the southeast coast, but really doesn't amount to much. So now we have the three of them, and you can see here's number one, number two, number three. We also have sprawling high pressure that's building across uh, the north along the Canadian border and through the plains and back up through central Canada. Now there's that second system. You can see how it weakens out, redevelops off the Carolinas, but it stays pretty weak, and the cold air kind of just starts to bleed in. And now the third system is the one that the GFS anyway takes a low, into eastern Tennessee and just kind of redevelops it there right along the Delaware coast and then takes it out uh, to the northeast offshore. So it does have some kind of snow event here and this would be for around January, uh, looks like January 12th uh, into the 13th and then out and then more cold air and probably more opportunities, another Gulf low after that. Now again, this is going to look different to, to a large degree. One of the keys to this particular system is going to be how strong is the blocking how strong is the nao uh, if the nao is negative then you are going to take a low tracking underneath but if the nao is more neutral then we could wind up with something more inland and i think that's something that we're going to have to watch to see what happens um the european will have its say but the european won't be going out far enough uh into this time frame so uh Car, everything seems to be on the table here. Uh, the, with, with regards to the pattern change at this point, this stage of the game, it's a done deal. It is it is happening. Um, now we're going to have to work out the details as to whether how uh, these storms are going to be coming out in the subtropical jet. So uh, I will um, look at the European run uh, in the morning. I'll look at the new GFS in the morning, and I'll probably put up another video um, sometime during the day tomorrow. In the meantime, Happy New Year and enjoy.